again. Just wanted to check in and see how you're doing, really. How is work today? It's the worst thing you could possibly ask someone who's got a shit job that, you know, how was work? Like, I go to the same place and do the same thing every single day, don't I? And I've never come home and gone, that was a cracking day at work, that, you know, dead fulfilling. Like, you don't actually want me to tell you about my shit day at work, believe me. You just want me to go, yeah, it went bad, Todd, I was yours. To be fair, though, the only thing worse than having a shit day at work yourself is having to listen to someone else rattling on about their shit day at work. It's like uh, holiday photographs or something. You only asked about the ones you're in, and even then, only just. Sorry to hear that, Cam. Sounds like you're in the 11% of people who feel no sense of achievement at work. But if that's the case, why not, you know, just quit? Well, I'm gonna, like, I've got a degree in design. The only thing is, the bills don't wait for you, do they, while you're chasing your dream job. So you've got to just kind of get the money coming in to keep a roof over your head. And to be honest, I reckon that's how they get the kids when they leave school, you know. Like, dangle 250 quid in front of their face and say you can get this every week working on a building site or something. And to them, it's like, fucking hell, 250 quid every week. It's like birthday money, isn't it? But they don't realise that sort of 20 years later, they're going to be sat in a flat that they can't afford anymore with some kids that they've had because they're fucking bored, thinking, why am I still here digging holes? Like, there's more to me than this. That must be very hard for you. Though my research indicates that 58.8% of graduates from the UK work in non-graduate jobs, in elementary positions, delivering toilet paper, just like you. Then again, I remember you saying that you've been having some difficulties with your co-workers recently. Right, yeah. So the builders in the builder's yard next door, right? They catch the rats in these rat traps and they take them out to the docks and they just drown them. It's fucking horrible. So when I see them do it, I go and release them, like. And they've clocked me doing it and they call me, like, Master Splinter and the Rat King and stuff like that. Which I don't mind, to be honest. Like, at least I'm a king or something. The thing is, the rats have been coming back into the warehouse and shitting everywhere. And I have to clean it up. So it's like... I'm delivering bog roll to luxury hotels that I could never afford to stay in whilst cleaning up rat shit. And it's like, what am I doing? Like, I, I've got to get out of here, man. I've got to do something else. Like, to be honest, I reckon, I reckon I'm going to try and be a... Uh... 